So for those of you unaware, the, the likely majority of you that are unaware of this little fact, and you're not, probably not aware of it any more than I would be aware of things going on in other states. Sometimes I, I do hear about horrible things going on weather-wise and whatnot on when I watch um, World News Tonight at 6.30 on ABC. Anyway, uh, absolutely miserable here. Miserable. Cold, rainy, windy at times. Miserable. I've learned something about him. He does not, he, he doesn't go to the bathroom on the floor. He does not have to go out nearly as much as I'd always thought. As long as I'm watching him, he's not going to the bathroom on the floor. He's just sitting there. That's all he wants to do. He's an old man now. He's 63, you know. I was telling Auntie, God, I remember the days when Omar used to love. He'd get all excited when we lived in L.A. to go walkie walk. Not anymore. Now it's, he's not excited at all to go walkie walk. We go, of course, for our hours. Yesterday we didn't even go. Yesterday it was so miserable, just pouring out and, and, um, and rain. I don't mind the rain, honestly, when it's warm rain. I had actually planned on going for a walk. Um, not a power walk, a leisurely walk. I still haven't broken in my, I haven't, you know, worn my new sneakers outside to make sure they're okay. So I'm still wearing my old sneakers, but it's just been miserable all week. I mean, literally, cold. Rain's okay when it's not freezing. This is cold, bitter rain. Omar and I just went out, and I won't walk in this when it's this cold. It's miserable. Yesterday we went for a brief walk, just so he could go as, you know, number two. We went for like a ten minute walk, and he went, because he has an aversion to going in the yard when it's miserable out. Huh. You just want to sit there. You just want to sit there and do nothing. You're an old man now. Grandma's coming home soon. Grandma's coming home soon. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to say the exact date. <laughs> like clockwork, I just talked to her. I'm not talking to her again. I just talked to her. I knew it. I knew she was going to call in the middle of my video. Hello? Oh, hey! Uh-huh. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's at 740. Yeah. I figured you could try me that early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. How's she doing? That's good. I'm gonna have to be getting Omar's, you know, teeth professionally done again, um, unfortunately. Well, they recommend, you know, her getting done, too, but my mom has a huge aversion to it, so I do, too. But, you know, last time Omar had to have, uh, like, I think a tooth or two removed, and, yeah, because pugs naturally have that kind of mouth where, and, and, and I don't brush his teeth. I, I was putting that on Pet's Life stuff on him with my finger. I haven't tried. I might be able to brush his teeth, but I still have to take him. I got to have it done again. I would never, I would never do it every year, but it's now been like three years, so. Yeah. Are they given the same amount? Oh. Oh, is she out of it? Well, I don't see why they would charge different. 
No, but I can look it up. You usually write everything down, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good, that's good. You said you've been using apple cider vinegar on her skin? And they said that was okay, right? Well, I don't know if it's okay for her with, with her stones or whatnot. I worry about that, but I'm... But yeah. I put a little bit in almost water every day, just a speck. And when Angel's here, they, she, they drink the same water, so... Now, if you had to put that, that urine, because we don't do that here, but I told you, once you have her, you can do what you want. The, the urine pill, that's good. That's a big pill, and if she doesn't need it, there's no point in giving it to her. I, they're cheap. Yeah. Yeah. So you still have them then, right? That, yeah, so only use it if you, because we've never noticed anything problem, and it's a big pill, and why give her an extra pill? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I was wondering why you why we had to still give it to her. So Okay. Oh, the apricot's only once a day, right? Yeah. natural things we can look into doing for her. Yeah. Yep. That's cute. You bought her shirt? Where'd you get it? How much was it? And it fed her? <laughs> oh, I think you told us about that shirt last time. That's not something you just bought. That's cute. I want to see that. Perfect. Well, you know what? My mom's getting out. You're not good. We're so we'll be fine. We, you're not gonna run out of the apple yet. Yeah, why not? Oh. Yeah. See, that's bullshit. They can hold it. They can hold it. Yeah. Definitely, that's when we get that much for that much money. Though we, we, they need to be um, counted. I can count them. I have no problem doing that. But they definitely need to be counted because you've got to make sure. What? It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll look, I'll look into natural things to to do on top of that because she takes been taking that forever and she still scratches. 
Yeah. Omer has a little teeny um, cyst on his eyelid. No, it's not black. It's like it's. I looked them up. They're cysts or size. They're usually people say they don't. They're not usually a problem, but. I mean, if it's on his inner eyelid and it gets bigger, then that's a problem because it can it can mess with his eye. So, well, just like we get warts and moles and all this crap, you know, they, he, they're 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 um he's not a, a puppy anymore. He's nine years old. So so is the angel. <laughs> Mm hmm Good. That's good. Uh, that's cute. That's cute. What's that? All I know is it's been absolutely miserable all week long. You know me, rain or shine, I walk Omar, and yesterday it was just pouring out and cold, and I just took him for a short walk just to do his business. I didn't even go for the long walk. It's been hard. It's, I don't mind the rain. It's when it's it's cold rain, and it's been it's been awful. <laughs> it's gonna get better though. It's supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I heard next week. It's even supposed to rain on Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So again, we'll 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 play it by ear. I don't know how my mom's gonna feel and whatnot when it comes to getting Angel back. Um. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but she'll probably want to see her immediately. I don't know if she'll want to. She might. You know, last time she did, she wanted her immediately. So, it's, you know, her choice. Okay, so I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. That was not my mama. That was the woman who takes care of me. I prefer me that she can drive the little boy to his bed appointment. Drive the little boy to his bed appointment. You got the little thing on your eye. You never had that ever. I don't know how long it's been there. It's teeny, teeny though, people. When I say it's teeny, I mean it's like I've got them. I get them sometimes, and they. Let me see. You don't like me to look at anything. tiny, but if underneath, that could just be, that, that part could be a bigger, I don't know. He'll be on the vet soon anyway, so we're okay. These things aren't emergencies, you know what I mean? It's not like I have to go to an emergency vet appointment tomorrow or something, but we definitely get this looked at. We'll get this looked at. Let me see the other eye. Yeah, see, it's touching his eye on the inner. I don't know if the, that thing is on the outside is bigger. It's hard for me to tell because I'm not a vet. That's just part of his eye, or is that the bump in the? Yeah, something on the inner eyelid. You can't let that stay like that because. Um. 
touching his eyes. Not it's it's touching his eye. It's teeny now, but yeah, <clears throat> definitely have to do that taken care of. Somebody was saying because they have to go on under anesthesia to have something like that removed. But if I'm going to get his teeth done anyway, you know, we can kill two birds with one stone and have that removed at the same time. That's what somebody was saying they did because you know instead of having a separate thing just have him remove it when he's already under for the for the teeth whatever needs to be done is going to be done you know right honey he's never had that before it's it's teeny i mean it's just a teeny teeny little ball but it is on his inner and it's touching his eyes, so that can't be good. Definitely have to do something very, I don't know. Be okay. You be okay, Omar? If it's just on the outside of his eye, but it's not. It's in the inner eyelid, and it's that cannot be good to have that thing touching his eyeball. You know, never had any problems with you. Nothing. We'll get it taken care of, honey. It's okay. Fortunate that we're not poor. Grandma has money. We'll take. We'll get it taken care of. Whatever needs to be done. Anyway, she said for the first time, <laughs> not poor. You used to be very poor. Anyway, on to on to more interesting things. I purchased from Amazon um, that Shaman's Interest in Chains that I love song that I learned about on on um, Music Choice Rock last week. I also bought I don't want to stop. I, uh, Shaman's Interest in Chains is new a group I'd never heard of a song I never heard of. Ozzy Osbourne obviously is uh, is old. Um, I've of course, I've heard of Ozzy Osbourne, but I never heard of I Don't Want to Stop That Song. I never heard that song before, and I liked it. That played on the music. Choice Rock. And I also bought, which I don't like as much. I liked In Chains the best, but I don't always buy songs that I absolutely love. I just need new songs to put on my MP3 player to jam to while I'm up power walking. Um, so I did this. This thing, and only liked a couple of the songs. I did this Best Rock Song of Two Thousand through Two Thousand Sixteen. This is a different list than I was just looking at. This one has the top 10 of the 2000s. Chop Suey, System of a Down, Last Resort, Papa Roach, The Diary of Jane, Breaking Benjamin, Headstrong, Trapped, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Scream Day, Tears Don't Fall, Bullet for My Valentine, The Pretender, Foo Fighters, Snuff, Slipknot. 
Bring me to life, Evanescence, Breaking the Habit, Lincoln Park. Oh, see, this is more... This is the only way I find out about songs. This is, um... Exercise. I'm trying to find what I was just looking at. No, that's not what we want. I lost what I was just looking at. I closed it and now it's gone. Metallica, I Disappear, I went to listen to that, didn't like it. You Choose Vertigo is okay, but I don't want to put it on my MP3 player. Nickelback, How You Remind Me, of course, I used to revel in that song. Um, back when I was with Donald, back when I used to listen to this out in the jacuzzi and pool and whatnot. Deftones, Change in the House of Flies. I remember that, but it's kind of weird. Buck Cherry, Crazy Bitch is already on my MP3 player. Linkin Park, In the End, that's really good. Sleater Kitty, You're No Rock and Roll Fun, didn't like it. Audio Slave, Coach Eyes, didn't like it. Foo Fighters, All My Life, I went and listened to that on YouTube, and yes, I do remember that. Nirvana, You Know You're Right, nope, didn't care for it. Alice in Chains, Check My Brain, didn't care for it. Incubus, Wish You Were Here, didn't care for it. The Rock and Troy, Steady As She Goes, I already have that on my MP3 player. Chevelle, Send the Pain Below, didn't care for it. Seether, Rise Above This, didn't care for it. Slipknot, Psycho Social, didn't care for it. Kings of Leon, Use Somebody, it's fantastic, but not to power, you know, not to listen to while I'm out power walking. Velvet Revolver, Slither, didn't care for it. The White Stripes, Blue Orchid, didn't care for it. And The Hold Steady is number one, stuck between stations, really didn't care for it. So, this is this, their choice. You know, everyone has a different thing. I didn't like any of these songs except for a few out of 20. Uh, and none of them, you know, maybe I would put that Foo Fighters on my MP3 player. I, you know, that's not what I'm The rest, no. Nope. No, but Crazy Bitch is already on there, so. All My Life's Good, I might. We'll see. I have to really, really like it. I really, really, really love that. Brand new to me. Just instantly loved it. In Chains by Shaman's Interest. So. I purchased it. Purchased the song. So, my next thing to do is this. We've got mainstream rock songs of the billboards from the year 2000 to the year 2016. Now, for the year 2000, Higher by Creed was number one from January 1st to January 22nd. No Leaf Clover by Metallica. See, I loved Load, I think it was. I loved old Metallica. Um, and actually... I liked some new Metallica, but every time this, they're in this one of these lists and I go to listen to the song, I don't like it. 
ACDC stiff upper lip. That was um, that was number one from March 11th. So we got Hire by Creed January 1st to January 22nd. No Leaf Clover by Metallica January 22nd to March 11th. Stiff upper lip. I love ACDC, so I can go check that out. That was March 11th to April 8th. This is already on my MP3 player. This is this all. I mean, I'll probably I'll always love these these old Three Doors Down songs. April 8th, um, Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and that went April 8th to June 10th. I Disappear by Metallica. Like I said, I just listened to that. I didn't like it. That was June 10th to July 8th. With Arms Wide Open, Creed. Yeah, it's a nice song. It's not a, it's not a rocking out, you know, it's not a song to listen to while you're power rocking. Um, and then I Disappear by Metallica came back in August 5th. This went July 8th to August 5th. This is the year 2000. Then we got Californication by Red Hot Chili Peppers, August 26th to September 9th. And then we got my main men, Three Doors Down. Oh, God, did I love Three Doors Down back then. Loser was September 9th, 2000, the top song all the way until past December 30th, all the way to January 6th. So Loser was the top song from September 9th um, of 2000 to January 6th of 2001. I'm sorry, no, it went per past that. It went past that. It, it was still number one. It's all the way to number one, all the way until February 3rd. And then Awake by Godsmack. February 3rd to February 10th. Jaded by Aerosmith. February 10th to March 17th. Outside by Aaron Lewis of Stained with Fred Durst. I don't know any of these songs. Um, March 17th to March 31st. Breakdown by Tantric. March 31st to April 7th, Duck and Run, Three Doors Down. My cousin had this song on, the, on her MP3 playlist. Remember, I got all the songs from her, and I did, wasn't crazy about this Duck and Run. Um, it's Been a While by Stained, fantastic. Not to listen to while I'm power walking. Really, really good song. That's April 28th all the way until September 15th. And who became number one in September 15th of the year 2001? Hmm, can anybody guess? How you remind me, Nickelback. September 15th, 2001. Was when How You Remind Me became number one on the billboard charts all the way until December 50s. So, three months. Then My Sacrifice by Creed was December 15th all the way until through January 5th. My Sacrifice by Creed all the way to February 16th. Blurry Puddle of Mud. And then we have April 27th, Nickelback's Too Bad became number one until May 18th, I Stand Alone by Godsmack. Till June 15th is Hero by Chatty K um, with Jose Scott, whatever. Then Drift and Die. I have Puddle of Mud. She fucking hates me. I love that song. That's on my MP3 player. There's some other Puddle of Mud that were top songs that I need to check out. Drift and Die, Puddle of Mud, June 29th until August 10th. By the way, Red Hot Chili Peppers, no, I don't know that song, August 10th until September 28th. Then System of a Down, Aerials. And then that was to October 5th, Never Again, Nickelback. She Hates Me, Puddle of Mud, October 26th until November 2nd, You Know You're Right, Nirvana. Like I said, I didn't like that, You Know You're Right. I just... I just played that right. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. And I did like some Nirvana, but I did not care for that song. I heard it for the first time so right now, a few, a little bit of a while ago. Um, 
When I'm Gone, again, Three Doors Down, I love all those. Kryptonite, Loser, When I'm Gone, they're all on my MP3 player. Um, those are songs I just never stop liking. Um, so, When I'm Gone, November 30th, Three Doors Down, until... Went through to January, 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 and then we have Straight Outta Line, so when I'm gone all the way till March 29th, Straight Outta Line, Godsmack, then April 12th, Summer I Belong, Lincoln Park, which I'm sure I know that song, I just can't think of it at the top of my head, and April, that didn't last very long, April 19th, the number one became Like a Stone by Audio Slave. I don't know any of these songs. Hi, baby. I have to keep an eye on you. You get to sit on the bed. Oh, that's not something else. I'm not going to I'm not gonna start having health problems with you, or am I? After all these years, none? No health problems at all? Mom, I can't see small print or small little sis on the side with her glasses on. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Yeah. Mama's getting old too, just not as old as you. Come on. Come here. Come up. Come on. Come on. Let me look. Omar, I'm not hurting you. I just want to see. Oh, that's just a gunky. Let me get the gunky off your eye. It's not a sis, it's just a gunky. I was reading about natural cures saying warm compresses, which is just warm cotton balls. Of course, he doesn't want me to do that. He doesn't want me to do anything. But I don't know if this is a bigger thing under his eye, and that top is just simply the, the pus. I don't, I don't know because I've never dealt with this before, and I know you don't like me looking at it. There's nothing else on his eye except for that, but that's major. That's major in that, I mean, it's touching his eyeball. We don't want that. We'll, we'll go to bed. We'll get it taken care of. It's okay. Go up. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on. Up. I can't. I, you've got to stay up on the bed. As long as you're up on the bed, you can sit here for hours while I'm on my computer. Come on up. Come on. Come on. Up. Yeah, he sits there and doesn't care. He doesn't care about it. I don't want to have water or anything. He sits there and sleeps. Anyway. This is kind of interesting. This is the Top Rocks songs. You know, this is songs everybody loved. Um, I can look them up at least and see if I can do what I want to pay to put them on my video player. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we get Like a Stone, Audio Slave, April 19th, all the way till July 12th. So Like a Stone by Audio Slave was major, oh, that stayed a while. I have some Audio Slave, but I don't know that, so I can look it up, see if I like it. Send the Pain Below, Chevelle was July 12th to July 26th. Headstrong by Trapped. And then August was July 26th and August 2nd, Send the Pain Below by Chevelle came back. It stayed just to the 16th and then So Far Away by Stain went August 16th until November. Then we have Weak and Powerless, A Perfect Circle, November 22nd. Till December 6th was Still Framed by Trapped. And then December 13th, Away From Me, Puddle of Mud. January 3, Numb. Yeah, by Lincoln Park. Of course, I know all these Lincoln Park songs. And then we that went January 3rd only to January 24th. Figured You Out by Nickelback was January 24th until April 24th. Then, this is already on my MP3 player, Cold Heart Bitch by Jet. Love that song. Um, April 24th, Cold Heart Bitch. That went to June 19th, Slither by Velvet Revolver. Don't like the song, as I already said. June 19th to August 21st, Just Like You, Three Days Grace. August 21st to September 11th. Okay, so September 11th, Breaking the Habit, Lincoln Park. I know, I know all these Lincoln Parks. I just don't remember them off the top of my head. Um, and I have some Lincoln Park on my MP3 but I don't listen to it. I do listen to my old Three Doors Down from time to time, Kryptonite Loser and When I'm Gone, which I didn't even buy those. I got them from my cousin. They were on her thing. Um, but they were on my old, you know, 
I used to listen to him in a tape cassette on a Walkman. I don't even make Walkmans anymore. Maybe they do. No, so many. Anyway. September 11th till October 2nd, Breaking the Habit, Lincoln Park. And then October 2nd, Fall to Pieces. I feel like I know that. I'll have to look that one up. Fall to Pieces, Velvet Revolver. And then October 2nd to December 18th, Vitamin R, Leading Us Along by Chevelle. Okay, now we're into 2005. Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Green Day. Another one, I, I'm sure I know it when I hear it. I just don't remember it. Um, I have some Green Day. I have new Green Day. I have 21 Guns. I also have that I got from my cousin um, Longview. I used to listen to that. I used to go crazy with that song. It was a lifetime ago. My wild days. A little bit of Broken Dreams, Green Day. That was January 1st until April 9th, Be Yourself, Audio Slave. Um, April 9th until June 4th, and then Holiday by Green Day, June 4th until June 25th, Remedy by Seether. Is that the one? I think that, I know that one. That might be even something I would put on my three player, maybe. Okay, we're in the 2005 right now. Um, Remedy. I know, I know, I'm not sure. I'd have to hear it. That went June 25th to July 30th. Best of You by Foo Fighters, July 30th to August 27th. The Remedy by C that came back, August 27th to September 17th. Right here by Stain, September 17th to October 1st. Photograph by Nickelback, October 1st to November 19th. Save Me by Shinedown, November 19th until February 11th. Animals by Nickelback, February 11th to March 25th. Um, March 25th, Speak by Godsmack until Danny California, Red Hot, I don't know what that is. March 25th to May 6th, Danny California, Red Hot Chili Peppers, May 6th until July 29th, Animal I Have Become, Three Days Grace. July 29th to September 16th, Through Glass, Stone Sour. September 16th to November 4th, Land of Confusion, Disturbed. November 4th to November 25th, The Pot by Tool. Don't know any of these, can you tell? Um, the Pot by Tool, November 25th to, I'm sure once we get later and later, I won't know any of them at all. November 25th, The Pot by Tool to December 23rd, Pain, Three Days Grace. I remember the first time I heard Never Too Late by Three Doors Grace. In LA, in the upstairs bedroom. Is that after dawn? Broken up. Pain by Three Doors Grace, December 23rd. Pain by Three Doors Grace went all the way until March 24th. Breath, Breaking Benjamin. I don't know Pain by Three Doors Grace, and I don't know Breath by Breaking Benjamin. March 24th to May 12th, What I've Done, Lincoln Park. Of course, I know that one. Lincoln Park went May 12th, What I've Done, till July 7th. I don't... Oh, look! I don't want to stop Ozzy Osbourne. Okay, so that was, that was in the top ones of that year. What year are we in? Six? Seven. We're in seven. Okay. Ozzy Osbourne, I Don't Want to Stop, was July 7th, but it only went a little over a month. Paralyzer, Finger 11. That was on my old MP3 player, the one that went down the sewer drain or, or something happened to it. I think, was that the one that went down the... It was on my really old one. I don't know. They, they break. Whatever happens to them. I don't know, maybe that was the one that stopped playing the song normal. Still plays the radio. It's my, it still plays the radio, but it will not play my 
the songs it plays them at a warped speed a slow speed anyway so I don't want to stop that was a top song in 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 07 July 7th, I Don't Want to Stop, Ozzy Osbourne, it went till August 11th, and Paralyzer by Finger 11. Poor Paralyzer, though, only lasted till August 18th, and then, ooh, never too late, Three Doors Grace. Alright, so that just answered my own question. That came out um, in 2007. I wasn't yet broken up. John and I weren't yet broken up, because I heard this song when it was brand new on Star. So I I listened to all I know it was brand new song Never Too Late and I was like whoa wow definitely resonated with me that song Never Too Late Three Doors Grades went August 18th until October 6th The Pretender Food Fighters I know it I just can't think of it. October 6th until November 17th. Fake it by Caesar. Fake it's right there on my MP3 play where it shall remain. Not something I listen to all the time, but, you know, it's it shall remain. I listen to it from time to time. It shall remain on my MP3 player. Fake it by Caesar went November 17th all the way past January until Puddle of Mud Psycho. I feel like I know that one, but I'll have to look it up. That went February, now we're into the 2008. February 23rd, Psycho, Pedal of Mud, went until... Oh, yeah, Three Doors Down. I love that song. It's not my time. It's not a man for three player, but I love that song. might actually put it on my MP3 player. Sometimes, you know, I like to listen to slightly slower when I'm winding down or whatnot. I might, I might, I love that. I might put that on my MP3 player. So it went April 26th until May 17th, Inside the Fire. Disturbed. Never heard of it. May 17th until August 23rd was Inside the Fire Disturbed and then Devour by Shine Down. That was on a list of ones that were top rock songs that I think I listened to and didn't like it. August 23rd, oh this is, I bought this one. That I found this couple last year or a couple years ago whenever when I was doing the same thing, trying to find new songs for my MP3 player um, for last year. I, this is on my MP3 player already. September 30, 13th, Bad Girlfriend Theory of a Dead Man. September, that only went to the seven days, only um, went to September 20th, the day that never comes. Metallica took over on September 20th. But then October 4th, Bad Girl from Bethia Epidemic came back. October 11th, the day that never comes. Metallica. That went to November 29th, Rock and Roll Train, ECDC, went from November 29th to December 20th. What the? What the hell is this? This I Don't Care by Apocalyptia featuring Adam. The only I don't care, I don't know, is, is on my, that's, um, I don't know what that is. The only I don't care that I know about is on my MP3 player by. It's right at the tip of my tongue. thought of that because they were recently I just couldn't think I'm, 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 I'm 
that's okay so that's completely I don't care but the future and I'm going to have three days grace Anyway, follow up wise, I don't care is on. That's not it though. That's not what we're talking about here. But that's on my regular letter. I'm just setting aside. Um, okay. I don't care. Apocalyptic or future man and Gantier. I don't know what that is. Um, December 27th, second chance shine down. Never heard of it. Second chance shine down goes all the way. I'll definitely have to look it up. It went all the way to March. And then who took over in March of oh March seventh of two thousand and nine? What song took over the top Billboard Omar top rock song of two thousand and nine? <laughs> March seventh. Something you might make about. I will spare you the suspense. Um, something you must make about took over on March seventh. But it only went to April 4th, and then Cyanide by Metallica took over from April 4th to April 18th. Papa Roach Lifeline. I liked old Papa Roach. I don't know. All right, Lifeline, never heard of it. Papa Roach, April 18th until Green Day. Know Your Enemy, never heard of that. May 30th. May 30th to June 20th. Then then Sound of Madness took over on June 20th. Shine Down, never heard of Matt Sound of Madness. June 20th till July 11th, New Divide. I know, I know that. In fact, I, re I remember loving that one. Um, Lincoln Park's New Divide took over July 11th. September 5th, Champagne by Cavo, never heard of it. Whiskey Hangover by Godsmack, took over on September 12th, so Champagne by Cavo didn't stay very long in the number one. Check My Brain, Allison Chains took over on October 3rd, already told you I checked that out already, don't like it. I won't necessarily like any of these. We already know I love all the Nickelback, so we'll, we'll say that goes without saying, but I'm not putting this on my three player. Um, See, Check My Brain by Alice in Chains, October 3rd to November 28th. I Will Not Bow, Breaking Benjamin, November 28th to December 12th. Break by Three Doors Grace. I don't know any of these songs. Took over December 12th and went until February 27th. And then Your Decision, Alice in Chains, never heard of that song. Took over on February 27th until April 24th, Crying Like a Bitch. Godsmack, Crying Like a Bitch, took over on April 24th, never heard of that. Till May 29th, The Good Life, Three Doors Grace. Um, and then that went till July 3rd, Let Me Hear You Scream by Ozzy Osbourne was July 3rd until Shine Down. July 31st, The Crow and the Butterfly, Shine Down. Um, July 31st to August 7th, Another Way to Die, took over by Disturbed on August 7th and went till October 2nd, Say You Haunt Me, Stone Sour, never heard of any of these. Um, I know this one. I used to like this one. This has Chad in it. Um, singing in it. Okay, so October 22nd, Say You Haunt Me by Stone Sour. Um, went until November 27th, Porn Star Dancing, My Darkest Days featuring Zach Wild. And then December 11th, World So Cold, Three Doors Grace. And now we're into 2011. vitamins. Yeah, I ordered them for you from Vitacost already. I remember I, I got a huge, vi oh, I don't know if I told you, I think I told you I got a huge Vitacost order. Who cares if I didn't, doesn't matter. I got a huge Vitacost order. I, I already ordered your vitamins. Mm-hmm. They're already here. Mm-hmm. I've actually been eating yours, but I can, I, I can order more than Anna Saxon from National News. For both of us. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, of course, we always do.
Mom, there's nothing you can do when you have new prescriptions. If it's not ready, then you deal with it, just like last time. You have that at home, yeah. And you have Zyprexazitis, you just don't have it in the right prescription. You have 15 instead of 20 milligrams, but that doesn't matter. You're going to get, you're not going to, you have to get a new one. Yeah, the lithium's going to be brand new. But you can't order it ahead of time, Mom, and you're turning in a brand new prescription. You just have to deal with it. They don't have it. You have to wait till they get it in. There's nothing you can do. I don't know, Mom. It is so, it's like cold and rainy here. I can hear the wind. Hmm. The heat? Yeah, when I close my door, I don't even, I actually, I've been saving, you know, saving you money or whatnot because I don't even, when I have my door closed in here, even though that, that I keep, put the heat down to 65 at night, just like when you were here, we put the heat down to 65. And when I'm out in the living room and stuff, yeah, or kitchen, then I'm cold and I put it on 70 during the day, just like we always did. But, but, but I, I haven't even turned it up today. It's still on 65. Of course he sleeps with me. He would, he would, he, he would, he, 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 his, his, he would just die if he didn't, if he just kept him out. I don't know, we'll talk, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, Mom. I told you, I think it might be best if he continues to sleep with me, you know, for your stress level. You're going to have Angel back. I know she sleeps down the end of the bed, but I'm just thinking that for your stress level, it might be better that, that I take care of Omar. At least part-time, you know? Don't you think that might be better for your stress level, if at least part-time I take care of Omar? Mm-hmm. I've been eating um that thing that 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 um the the banana with the the eggs. Yeah, you remember? It's not bad. I put put cinnamon and walnuts in it. It's it's, it's different. I put I put my 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 real whole organic maple syrup on it. And I actually put, put yogurt on it, too, so it's a nice meal. It's healthy, I mean. Mm-hmm, good. Well, I have to go, okay? I just talked to you a little while ago. I guess your vitamins, are, I, I ordered from you. I ordered them. I knew you were out of them. Okay? All right, see you later, Mama. By the way, last thing in the world that this world needed, this, this, this growing, you know, more rotund by the hour planet it needed was yet another excuse to remain obese. I know the statistics suck. They, they recently had on my mainstream news and on Inside Edition how they, for six years, well now six years later, the, the, this expert, this new, whatever, this doctor, he followed the former contestants from this particular year of The Biggest Loser. Um, but you know what? You're guaranteed to gain, you know, I don't like that. Um, 
because it's a bunch of bullshit. Well, it's not bullshit what they found was that in these contestants from The Biggest Loser, their metabolism went down and they have less of the lepitin or something that, that monitors hunger, but they're blaming, they're saying your body wants to be that way. Well, you know what? If I decide that my body wants to be 232 pounds and I just give up, I am guaranteed to get back to 232 pounds. If I struggle against it, am I guaranteed to not get back? No, but at least I tried. I mean, think about it. The odds are against us, we, we human beings, regarding everything. One in two get heart disease. One in two, I mean, I'm just picking these, I don't know the exact numbers. One in three get this disease. One in two get that. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? If you think that way, then you might as well just give up. So I don't like that. They featured that. So, of course, I have to put my two cents in because I used to watch The Biggest Loser religiously. And I think that it's those shows that fuck up people, that they lose the weight so fast. And for this guy to say he, get, he lost in seven measly months, like 220 pounds, some ridiculous amount, and now six years later he's 100 pounds heavier. And he's like, well, I didn't even want to show my face, but now that I know it's not my fault, you know what? If you want to have that attitude and believe that, because they're saying it's called metabolical, me, metabolism something, that your body, when, you, when you're obese and you lose that weight, you, your body wants to be that weight, I say fuck that shit, okay? Not everybody, he, he's full of it, okay? He's saying he doesn't still exercise or eat the same or whatnot. Plus, when you get older, your metabolism goes down. There are ways to increase your metabolism. There are things you can do, but I can guarantee you, if you say what he says, well, now I know it's not my fault. My body wants to be that. Fine. Get back up to over 400 pounds, Danny, and die, you know? You already put on 100 pounds. And then this other woman who was on that same, because they're only following that one season, she's trying to say that in six years, she, she's like, I only gained like 12 pounds. They said 12, well, 12 to 15. She looked a lot heavier. So she, if she's lying to herself or whatnot, because if she only gained 12 to 15 in six years, then that's not bad, you know? But that's just giving the, the obese people another excuse to, to say, okay, well, there's nothing that I can do. My body wants to be that. I wrote down the exact term. My buddy, you, they're saying, they're basically saying, why even bother trying? To me, that's what they're saying. You're, the reason all these contestants, their metabolism goes down and they, their lepitin, because their body wants to be that obese weight. That may very well be true, but there are ways you can fight it. And I can guarantee you, if you just accept that, if Danny, that guy Danny is just accepting, well, it's not my fault I put on these 100 pounds. My body wants me to be heavy. Then fine, go and put the rest, the next second 100 in the next 10 years, Danny. You know, if that's going to be your attitude, you're guaranteed to get back up to over four, to 440 pounds or whatever. So I can put my two cents in on that because I can speak personally. Okay? Yeah. I'm 20 pounds heavier, and that sucks. But I can guarantee you, if I have the attitude that there's nothing that I can do, and my body wants to be 232 pounds again, then I definitely, beyond any shot of any doubt, will reach 232 pounds again. If I fight it, I might have a shot of not, you know? So I didn't like him saying, no, well, since I know it's not my fault. Bullshit. We don't know anything about your life, and we're supposed to believe you did everything the same, and you gained 100 pounds in these six years, and it's not your fault because that's what your body wants to be heavy. I'm not denying that metabolism went down, but there are ways to raise your metabolism, and it is not the biggest loser shows are not good. You lose the weight too damn quickly. You don't learn to, you know, I lost, when I got, think how slowly I lost that weight. I lost it slowly. It's the only way. And artificial sweeteners are worse for you than regular sugar. They've done study after study. They shouldn't, there are places where a spread time is banned. They, the countries that won't even sell it, it's such poison, okay? It's poison for your body, but not literal poison, but yes, it's way worse. You're better off eating regular sugar than artificial sweeteners. You actually gain, they've done study after study, you gain more weight on artificial sweeteners because it's, they're so sweet it tricks your body into thinking that you've had that, it's just, artificial sweeteners are horrible, okay? I gained this fucking weight, not from drinking, because I don't drink that often, from pigging out. I'm an emotional eater. I am not even going to sit there and give you bullshit like Danny. It's not my fault I gained the weight. We don't know anything about his life. 
he can claim whatever he wants. The other woman pissed me off because she's sitting there saying, if she really did only gain 12 to 15 pounds in the six years, that's not a big deal. She kept most of the weight off. But she looked like she actually gained more and she's lying to us. So that pissed me off. It, I'm looking at her on my same TV screen. It's not like I looked at her on the computer and then on the... T no, it's the same damn TV screen. She looked like she gained way more. So she's lying and whatever. But we don't know anything about their lifestyle. Okay? Yeah, the odds are bad. Most people, just like 50% of marriages end in divorce, most people, it's a minuscule amount who gain, lose a lot of weight. Okay? And a lot of weight is not 10 or 20 pounds. It's a lot of weight. I mean, I lost a lot of weight. I went from the two, but I started off thin, you know, and I'd never been that, but I knew I went from 232 down to 160. So I lost 70 pounds. Um, but right now, I'm, I've, I was maintaining my weight for quite some time, like around 170, okay? But right now, I'm like 182. So I'm like 20 pounds heavier than my, oh. But if I just gave up, then I'm guaranteed to get back there. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it, you know? And I have all those old books. One of the best books I ever read. When I read it, I read it in my 20s. It's an old book. But, but you know, diets change. Things we've learned change. We now know that it's, it's not bad for you. Good fats are good for you. They actually help you lose weight. All this low-fat stuff. They put too much sugar in it. Sugar is what's getting, getting America fat. My mom and I watched this best movie. It's the high fructose corn syrup and everything. They actually, we watched this movie from 2000. Um, the movie's from a while ago. I can't remember the damn movie, but it's a documentary, and it's so good. Everyone should watch it because it's it's about the fact that it's the high fructose corn syrup. It's sugar making people fat, not fat. It's sugar. It's sugar in everything. And I can't remember the damn name of this awesome, awesome, awesome obesity documentary. About sugar. Fed up. F E D U P. Fed up is fantastic. And they re released it because it's so good. As the debate rages on in the U.S. about what is most to blame for the nation's obesity problem, our new film is claiming the real danger. Fantastic. Fantastic documentary, people. They put high fructose corn syrup in everything you can think of. Everything. Obesity is becoming an epidemic. Like my, my inside edition person said, Deborah Norval, whatever, you know, or the news said, one of them said it. I think it was, but by the year 2025, experts predict one in five people on the planet, one in every five people will be obese, clinically obese. Um, this fed up is... New film Fed Up warns it's sugar, not fat, which is causing obesity. 80% of the 600,000 food products in America have added sugar. A third of adults will have diabetes by 2050 if nothing is done, film predicts. Dr. David Kessler says it is one of the greatest public health epidemics of our time. Fantastic. I believe it. High fructose corn syrup in everything. It's just... But in any case, you're better off. You shouldn't drink soda at all, but you're better off having the regular sugared soda than just... I told my mom that I asked her, have you been having the artificial... I mean, she's coming home soon anyway, but have you been having the artificial sweetener in your coffee? She's like, no, I've been having real sugar. Good, it's better for you. It's actually... That artificial sweetener is just... Poison. It's poison. It's horrible for you. It's just horrible, and it causes. They've done study after study. It, it causes worse weight gain than than regular eating regular sugar. 
and Fed Up was a fantastic documentary. And the last thing, this world that's getting more rounder, more rotund, more obese by the hour, including children, was for this person to do this study and talk about, it's how your body, when the fat people have no, you know, when they lose the weight, it's just inevitable pretty much that the, it's called metabolical, meta, met, whatever it's called, it's such bullshit. It's going to be, I'm sure, the latest thing. It's just giving people another excuse. You know, hey, if you want the excuses, that's fine. I personally am going to fight. Okay. And I personally know that I ate a shitload at Joe's of healthy, healthy, organic, natural, not all processed food. Fruits and vegetables and rice and nuts and avocados and eggs and coconut oil and avocado oil and apple cider vinegar and yogurt and, you know what I mean? And I ate a shitload. And I was never hungry, but I was in bed by 9, 9.30 every night. And believe me, if I, and I didn't eat after 9 and 9.30, and if I tried to eat something, Joe would be like, what are you doing? Why are you eating? You know, he stopped me, pretty much. And I was asleep, and I got enough sleep, and I was eating, and I got all the way down to 153 pounds. Okay. Did I maintain an under 53? No. No, I did not. But I'm just saying that I could eat a lot. Um, and when I, you know, when I left, what, how much was it? I, I wrote it down. How much did I weigh when I... I could eat a lot and, and still be losing weight, let alone not gaining. These stressful times, I'm an emotional eater, admittedly so. If I got, if I was in bed by 11 o'clock every night and never eating after hours and getting enough sleep every night, you know, I'm not going to decide that my body wants to be 232 pounds and it's hopeless. That's ridiculous. But if these people want to do that, more power to them. But whatever. They're just, they're, like I said, the last thing this world needs is another excuse like this doctor, whoever this person is. Now, he's not lying. He studied these 16 people from The Biggest Loser. But remember, these people, a lot of them... When he's studying the contestants from The Biggest Loser, a lot of them were only on for one week, two weeks, three, you know what I mean? They weren't on for that long. But he's saying all of their metabolisms are high. Yeah, they also got six years older, okay? And the lep whatever that level is, it monitors. I just don't like that. I don't like this them saying, oh, well, our bodies, if we, you, you're it's ho pretty much saying under, the, under a breath, it's under the, you know, it's hopeless. Yeah. The odds are definitely stacked against you. The percentage of people that keep it off, who lose a lot of weight, who keep it off for five years or more is slim, is low, very low, but Thin for Life, fantastic book I read in my 20s. Um, it has all these tips that people who have kept it off give. And one of the tips is you don't let yourself get, you have a point, whatever it is. It can be 5, 10, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, but you decide that if you ever go above that, you're going to be vigilant for one day, two days, whatever, until you get back down below, okay? My point was 170. I, I just said, fuck it, when my mom kept winding up in and out of hospitals and whatnot, and then, you know what I mean? But I was able to do that, and if you go, if I went above 170, you, you're vigilant for a couple, three days until you get back down below, okay? You don't let yourself, like this guy did, gain 100 pounds, and now six years later you're vindicated. He actually said it on TV. Well, I wasn't going to show my face, but now that I know it's not my fault, and I'm going to let that line stand alone because he said it on Inside Edition. Now that I know it's not my fault, I gained the weight. Okay, you want to believe that? More power to you. More power to you, because I said, we don't know your life, and we don't know what you eat in the closet, or, you know what I mean? It's like, sure, I can understand if he gained like 15, 20, but he gained 100, and he's saying it's not my fault. He's, he, he's latching on to this person who's saying your body wants to be that weight. Well, my body wants to be 232 pounds. I say, fuck you, body, I'm going to fight you to the, you know, to the bitter end. I am. Will I succeed? There's no guarantee of anything. But I'm at least, I'm guaranteed to not succeed if I don't even try. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's an aside.
they showed an alligator ringing the doorbell and somebody did that as a video and I can see clearly that the alligator's not actually ringing the doorbell. Someone who did that YouTube video put that door, he is going up on his hind legs and looks like he's trying to ring the doorbell. But for them, I thought they make the ding dong sound and that had to been added to the video. I don't know how to do that by the way. I don't know how to add. I don't know how to put a picture in the middle of my video. I know it's possible, the things you can do, and I don't know how to do it. But that was kind of cool, the alligator trying to ring the doorbell. But they added the doorbell sound. It makes you think in the previews that the alligator's actually ringing the doorbell. He's not, because I can clearly see the doorbell things up there, and he's not up high enough. But he does go up on his hind things, and he's at the door, and that's just fucked. That's really, really bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Anyway, on to music. Where do we leave off? Where do we leave off? We left off in 2000 and... Nine, right? So, like I said, something in your mouth, March 7th, Nickelback. Went to April 4th, Cyanide, Metallica. Um, to April 18th, Lifeline, Pepper Roach, May 30th, Know Your Enemy, Green Day, June 20th, Sound of Madness, Shine Down. Remember, whatever date I give, this song stayed on the top of the Billboard um, charts until the next month, until whatever date I give. Sound of Madness, Shine Down, June 20th, then July 11th, New Divide, Linkin Park. September 5th, Champagne by Cavo. September 12th, Whiskey Hangover, Godsmack. October 3rd, Check My Brain, Alice in Chains. November 28th, I Will Not Bow, Breaking Benjamin. Um, I don't recognize so many of these songs. I'm hoping I like some, at least. I'd be happy if I liked a couple of more. A couple more. Put them in for three player. Because I just, I don't like, you know, most music any more than anybody, you know, so finding songs that I really like, yeah, like, I loved In Chains by Shaman's Interest, and I just heard last week for the first time ever in my life, um, okay, break, Three Days Grace, December 12th, went all the way to February 27th, Your Decision, Alice in Chains, don't know any of these songs, February 27th to April 24th, Crying Like a Bitch, Godsmack, April 24th, May 29th, The Good Life, Three Days Grace, July 3rd, Let Me Hear You Scream, Ozzy Osbourne, The Crow and the Butterfly, Shine Down, Another Way to Die, Disturbed, don't know any of these, um, but they are the top mainstream rock songs of this, these years, these months, so... Maybe I will like some of them. You never know. Another Way to Die, Disturbed, August 7th. October 2nd, Say You'll Haunt Me, Stone Sour. Don't know any of these. Porn Star Dancing, My Darkest... Oh, see, I, I was I was supposed to be down here. Okay, Porn Star Dancing, My Darkest Days, featuring that. Well, yes, cool song. Um, it's okay. World So Cold, Three Doors Grace, December 11th. Don't know it. Went till January 15th. Oh, Sex is Good, Saving Abel. That Theory of a Dead Man, Bad Girlfriend, I think I got, that was a recommendation on Amazon because I, I, I found Saving Abel. Or, no, it was on one of those lists where I was trying to find something I liked. Saving Abel, the same thing. Sex is Good, it's on my MP3 player. Um, so I do find things I like from these lists, so we'll see. Isolation, Alter Bridge, January 22nd. Diamond Eyes, Boom, Lay, Boom, Lay, Boom, Shine Down, I don't know any of these songs. Rope, Foo Fighters, April 2nd. Country Song, Caesar. That was when I was living with Bobby and I heard that on the station and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I finally was able to figure it out. I actually, I think I talked to the radio station or something. I got to the bottom of it anyway and I, I put that song. So this is on my MP3 player, Country Song, May 7th, Caesar, Country Song. Lies of the Beautiful People, 6 a.m., never heard of the song or the group. 
Avenged Sevenfold, July 30th, so far away. Or Sevenfold is a group, Avenged is a song. Theory of a Dead Man, Low Life. Kid Rock has a song called Low Life. That's on my MP3 player. Theory of a Dead Man, Low Life. Don't know any of these songs. I'll check it out. Walk by Foo Fighters. I think I heard this. I don't know. Remember, this is rock, mainstream rock, but that doesn't mean it, it's fast songs. Walk by Foo Fighters, September 10th. October 8th, Not Again by Stay Can Be Soft Rock. Mainstream rock. Tonight by Seether, November 5th. Not Again by Stained was back on November 12th. Face to the Floor, Chevelle, December 3rd. Face to the Floor went all the way until Bully by Shinedown, February 25th. Live to Rise, Soundgarden, May 19th. Burn It Down, Lincoln Park, June 30th. I have some Lincoln Park. I bleed it out. I like that one. I like a, I like a lot of Lincoln Park. Um... Not necessarily to put them all on my MP3 player, but I do like Lincoln Park. You're Alive by Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, July 7th. Don't know any of these songs. I'm looking forward to seeing if I like them, though. It's, a bit, it's exciting. Still Counting, Volbeat, July 21st. Unity, August 4th, Shine Down. Coming Down, um, September 1st, Coming Down, Five Finger Death. Punch. I recently purchased on Amazon. Um, I even danced to it for you guys. Um, Jekyll and Hyde. Coming down, Five Finger Death Punch. Was September 1st to September 8th. Criticize Adelita's Way. Ad Adelita's Way. Coming down, Five Finger Death Punch was again on September 15th. Chalk Outline, Three Days Grace, September 2nd. Been away too long, Soundgarden, December 22nd, all the way till February 9th, Heaven Nor Hell, Volbeat, Stand Up by a group All That Remains, February 16th, March 2nd, Hollow, Alice in Chains, March 23rd, Bones, Young Guns, March 30th, Hollow, Alice in Chains, April 13th, Freak Like Me, Hailstorm. I heard a different song by Hillstorm last week on, on Music Choice. Um, I kind of like the song. The High Road, Three Days Grace, April 27th. By Crooked Steps, Soundgarden, May 4th. Device, um, Vilify, a song called Vilify by Device, May 18th. The Hangman's Body Count on June 1st by Volbeat. S July, June 22nd, Stone, Alice in Chains. July 13th, Trenches, Pop Evil. August 10th, Lift Me Up, Five Finger Death Punch featuring Rob Halford. August 17th, Out of Time, Stone Temple Pilots. August 24th, Hail to the King, Avenged Sevenfold. Oh, wait a minute. The song's called, the group's called Avenged Sevenfold. So up here, when it said Avenged Sevenfold, it didn't have a song listed. I thought the song was Avenged and the group was Sevenfold. Oh, the song is so far away, Avenged Sevenfold, okay. Hail to the King, August 24th by Avenged Sevenfold. So November 2nd, Misery Loves My, loves my Company, Three Days Grace. November 9th, Hail to the King, Avenged Sevenfold. Corn reappeared. November 16th, Never Never by Corn. December 7th, Lola Montez, Volbeat. December 14th, Battleborn, Five Finger Death Punch. December 28th, Deal with the Devil, Pop Evil. January 4th, Battleborn, Five Finger Death Punch. January 25th, Tired, Stone Sour. February 1st, Shepherd of Fire, Avenge Sevenfold. Um, Heaven Knows is on my MP3 player. I got that from Amazon. It was given me as a recommendation. About that one is a little Bobby. March 22nd, Hev Heaven Knows. It's pretty reckless. I really like that song. Um, April 26th, Take Out the Gunman, Chevelle. May 17th, Guilty All the Same, Lincoln Park featuring Rakeem. June 7th, Torn to Pieces, Pop Evil. June 21st, Painkiller, Three Days Grace. World, Words as Weapons, July 19th, that's Seether. 
1000 HP Godsmack, August 23rd. Messed Up World, September 13th, The Pretty Reckless. September 20th, Until It's Gone, Lincoln Park. September 27th, Messed Up World, The Pretty Reckless. October 18th, World on Fire Slash, featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. October 25th, Edge of a Revolution, Nickelback. November 8th, Something from Nothing, 